This short lecture is on prosthetic valve associated hemolysis. Prosthetic valve associated hemolysis is more common with paravalvar leak, endocarditis and structural failure in bioprosthetic valve. Prosthetic valve dehiscence is an important cause for prosthetic valve associated hemolysis. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Control of hypertension with beta blockers can reduce hemolysis as the shear stress is reduced. One of the earlier studies used propranolol to reduce hemolysis in patients with aortic prosthetic valve. Three out of five patients given propranolol in the study had a clear decrease in hemolysis. One patient developed congestive heart failure with propranolol therapy at six months. Others hypothesized that the slower heart rate was the mechanism of reduced hemolysis in their cases. Benefit of beta blocker therapy has been documented by other authors as well. They noted an increase in hemoglobin level from 9.7 to 12.4 gram per deciliter over a 3 month period. We also have personal experience of significant decrease in hemolysis with beta blocker therapy over a period. Significant paravalvar leak must be closed either surgically or with device. PDA device has been used to close paravalvar leak. Percutaneous closure of a paravalvar leak is a time consuming procedure though technically feasible in selected cases. Some cases have incomplete closure and may need a second procedure while rare cases can have hemolysis even after the first device closure attempt. Some with residual leak may need repeated blood transfusions over a long period. Here are the first set of references for prosthetic valve hemolysis. Second set of references on prosthetic valve hemolysis. Final set of references on the topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.